Sup, y'all, yeah, bring you guys another video. To bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts of the Lawrence Okole versus Mikhail Chislak fight. The fight just ended literally just uh, moments ago. Fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Lawrence Okole successfully defends his WBO cruiserweight title. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, like I was saying, the fight went the distance. Uh, all three judges had it in favor of Okole. 116-111, 115-112, 117-110. All in favor of Okole. 115-112 was pretty close, man. I, I could see you giving three, four rounds to uh, Chislak. But f five rounds? Uh it's a little too close in my for my comfort to be honest uh but in the, the fight was was an ugly fight um yeah <laughs> uh it it, it kind of was a, what i was expecting uh if you guys go back to my prediction video i told you guys expect lawrence okoli to hold a lot in this fight he would fight from the outside he would come in and he would hold or whenever chase that would come in he would hold and that's basically how the fight played out throughout the whole entire fight uh Okoli did a good job uh, controlling the fight from a distance, landing some good shots at the distance. But then when Chizak would come in close or when Okoli comes in close, they would tangle up or Okoli would hold. And there was just a lot of holding in these fights. There was a, you know, uh, a lot of rabbit punches. Um, it ended up being a dirty, ugly fight, but uh, I kind of expected it. Um, a lot of people on social media <laughs> just looking at reactions. Uh, we're not happy with this fight, but you know, a big crowd from Poland showed up, man. A lot of people showed up. It was a very rowdy crowd, a lot of noise from the from the crowd. Uh, definitely a very lively crowd that showed up tonight over in uh, the UK. And um, yeah, the Polish fans didn't get what they wanted, but uh, she's like, you know, he's he's one of the top fighters in the cruiserweight division. Uh, it's just that stylistically speaking, you know, a cold is just hard to beat with his style, his lengthy style, and you know, the way he holds you and you know he's he's not an easy fighter to beat in the inside also from the outside because of his length anyway with this win Lawrence Okoli remains undefeated improving to 18 and 0 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO oh uh, they're interviewing him right now I want to kind of listen to what he has to say but you know for what's next for Okoli obviously if you look at the cruiserweight division uh, a lot of people argue that Marius Bredis is the number one fighter in the cruiserweight division he holds the um IBF cruiserweight title as well as the ring magazine he what he's there he's at the fight and the dude continues to embarrass himself dressing up as Mario and calling out Jake Paul and I'm like what the f what are you doing dude you're the cruiserweight champion of the world and you're calling out a youtuber and dressing up as Mario and getting these tattoos doing this rap <laughs> oh my god I'm just like Come on, dude. Why? Why? It's continuing to embarrass yourself. As for <laughs> Mikhail Chislak, uh, back to the drawing board for him. Second loss in his pro career. Losing to Makabu and Akoli. Um, not the end of the world for Chislak. Um, you know, going into this fight, he's up there in the rankings. I mean, the, the Ring Magazine considers him number eight. He's also up there uh, with the WBO number two. Um, who else is he? I guess the WBO is the only one that recognized him, but oh, apparently he used to be ranked by the WBA, but they recently just dropped him. I don't know why, but anyway, um, you know, I could see him fighting a lot of these top fighters in the cruiserweight division, and I think he'll do well against them. Choose that. I think he would make very entertaining fights against uh, fighters, the top fighters in the cruiserweight division. It's just that stylistically speaking, Okoli was just an ugly fight, but I'd like to see him fight, you know, bury this. Makabu, Michunu, Lorena, Glowaski would be a big fight over in Poland if they can make that. Mas Ternak is ranked number 8, 9 by the Cruiserweight, man. Anyway, there's some good fights out there that they can make over in Europe, and uh, I wouldn't mind those. So, anyway, um, yeah, it's not the end of the world for Chislak. I think he can be a world champion. You know, I think he could beat actually. Looking at the uh, cruiserweight division, I think he has a good chance against Gulomirian if they can make that fight. If they can make it. But, you know, only one way to find out, right? Anyway, um, 
Let me know what did you guys think about the fight. Oh, they're, they're, they're interviewing Raiders right now in the freaking Mario costume. Hold up, let me do this real quick. But uh, also, I have a small present for you from uh, last last uh, go. You know, uh, I hope you take and uh, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, this is the real man. He's a very strong man, and uh, I hope after Australia we come back to London and we make this full arena. Well, I hope he's a vegetarian option in the okay. Victoria. You have a good relationship with Kalatau, kind of Link, and that fight be made? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, this, this guy's uh, on another level. To you. Uh, plan, planet. No, <laughs> this, not to you. Don't worry, not on another level to you, but another level to like, like, uh, the normal people. Like, of course, <laughs> he thinks he's on social media with Jake Paul and with all this stuff, but I hope that he wants to give us the best fights in the division. Okay, so, so Bradis, I don't know, <laughs> this dude is just too funny. If you guys don't know, Bradis is uh, set to fight Lorena. They were supposed to fight in April, uh, but it got postponed towards the later part of April um, or May. And I think Lorena is his mandatory, um, to my understanding. Where is Lorena? Where is he ranked at? Was, is he not ranked? I thought he was. But anyway, he, he's supposed to fight Lorena. Wait, is it Lorena? No, not Lorena. Opeta. Jay Opeta. I'm, I'm getting the main names mixed up. Jay Opeta. He was supposed to fight Jay Opeta over in Australia. But apparently Opeta got sick and they had to postpone the fight. And then, if you guys didn't hear, he said that if the after the fight in Australia against Opeta, he's hoping that he could fight, go back to London and fight Okoli um, over in the UK. So, I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping Okoli... Bradis happens next, man. That would be a great fight. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.